Here we go. Well, the strappers ain't doing crap, but at least it's pretty out here. See, they got a fast suit. So we uh, had some follows out here in this deep water. He was throwing a big glide bait. So I'm gonna do a little bit more finesse. -y. A little bit of a smaller swim bait. Looks like a trout. And we're just letting them rest right now and then we go back over them. Yeah. Oh, I got a giant follow. He curved off. Yeah. Giant follow. Well, good morning, y'all. It's about four o'clock in the morning right now. And uh, we're putting the kayaks in on the river. We're gonna be chucking big swim baits and uh, just big stuff again for those giant striped bass. We caught three good ones yesterday. I caught that monster. Uh, Chris broke off. The split rings got ripped out of the bait on his uh, big fish of the day. And then uh, he hooked up with several others. We had lots of chases and follows and swings and misses. It was a great day all around. This is day two. It's not gonna be lightning and thunderstorming all morning and it's a little bit bluebird. So I don't know how that's gonna affect the bite. I usually like the overcast stuff, but uh, we're with a guy who knows what he's doing and uh, we're gonna have some fun nonetheless. It's gonna be beautiful today. We ain't gonna have to dodge lightning. So that's good. Uh, so stay tuned. We gonna put these guys in the water. Let's turn this on real quick. We're gonna get these guys in the water. And then we're gonna get to chucking, baby, and get to tote around. Let's go. Yeah. We are getting out and after it, guys. The sun's finally up. I can turn the camera on. And uh, if you didn't watch the first video, I'll show you what we're using in this one. So this is a Akuma Komodo 400 size. This is the 463. So this is a 6.3 to 1 gear ratio. And what I've got on it is 65 pound test, uh, suffix 832 braided line. Um, this reel has got about 25 pounds of drag. So it's just gonna tow me around if I hook up with a striper. And then on the business end of it, we've got a 50 pound monofilament leader to a tactical angler's clip so we can, ooh, I'm about to hook myself in the nuts. <laughs> we got a tactical angler clip right here so we can change our baits out really quickly. And then we've got a big giant glide bait that kind of imitates a skipjack. And then this thing right here is just so we can see the top of it while we're gliding it to make sure we're working it right. And then I've got that on a St. Croix ride. It's about an eight footer, seven, six. Um, what action we got on this guy? I don't know, it's super heavy. Yeah, fast action rated for or, uh, like six to 12 ounces of weight. So that's what we're using today. And uh, we got the drag pretty cranked down on this guy, just in case we hook up with the big end. We don't want to get it taken into a tree. And uh, we will be chucking and winding for the next 12 hours or so, seeing if we can hook up with another toad. We'll catch you when we, we're on. Or when I do something dumb, that's probably more likely first. Morning. Y'all catching any trout? Not yet. We're striper fishing. Yeah. Not found them yet. We gonna be able to do it? Well, 
So I'm going through backwards. Whee! Yeah. Hopefully. We have made it through. Finally. We are back to wet wading in 50 something degree water. <laughs> we beached the kayaks way up there. There's a big cut right here. You can see this bluff in the background and it gets deep over there. And we're just working these glide baits. You can see how clear it is. We'll be able to see a striper come up. We're just working these glide baits and it just goes like this, back and forth. And they just come up and cream it. Well, I hit my first tree of the trip. Let's see if I can get it out. Yep. Professional. Look, it didn't even get it. Look, it's working right and everything. How about that? Well, kind of. No, that's about it. Okay. See if we can. We're, we're working down this river trying to find the stripers. We're significantly upstream from where we were at yesterday and we're floating down. So like, we're just trying to find where they're at right now. Just going hole to hole, riffle to riffle, choke point to choke point, trying to find them. And uh, we ain't done it yet, but that's just part of it. When you come out into here and do this, like you ain't fishing for 10 bites, even though we had that yesterday, but like, it's like you're going for a couple big fish for 16 hours. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Wet waiting in boots too. So he just spotted a striper. Should I throw? Yeah, go uh, 11 o'clock far. Big? Yeah, I got him. We're in crystal clear water, guys, so we can see these fish when we come up on them. Is he on it? Look at the water color, it's a little stained here. What? The water color's a little bit different here too. You're like, there ought to be a fish here. No, where's he at? on my stuff. Missed him? Dude, yeah, that's a oh, tank. dang, I see him. Did you see that one? Yeah. Oh, dude, that was Where 
we're at. Yeah. So we uh, had some follows out here in this deep water. He was throwing a big glide bait. So I'm gonna do a little bit more finesse, -y, a little bit of a smaller swim bait. Looks like a trout. And we're just letting them rest right now and then we go back over them. to make a cast and just scoot back every time because if I make one cast it pulls me halfway across the river. Yep. You don't see any?
Oh, I got a giant follow. He curved off. Yeah. Giant follow. Here we go. Well, the stroppers ain't doing crap, but at least it's pretty out here. Fishing for stripers like this is basically just musky fishing. You are just out there hardcore grinding, throwing big baits that wear you out all day for hours and hours and hours on end, hoping for that one big bite. And when that big bite comes, you earned it and man, it feels good. Chris and I had been fishing for at least 12 hours at this point, somewhere around there, and man, we were beat. So we put the kayak back in the truck for a little while, went and got some Mexican food, took a little bit of break, and we headed out back after them at dusk. As you can tell now, it's dark. Chris and I spent, how, how long did we fish this morning or today? Four to, four to 11, 12 hours, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. We, long, fished, long time. we fished daybreak till like four o'clock, five o'clock, something like that. Then we went and ate some Mexican food and uh, took a nap at the hotel. And now we're back out here again and we're gonna chase them at night. They were really finicky today in the middle of the day. It got kind of bluebird and there were a million freaking kayakers out and the water got gin clear after the rain from yesterday it cleared out. So the fish were just super finicky. So we're gonna come out after them at night. Won't be a lot of filming for uh, the casting and whatnot because obviously it's dark and we can't run down this river with bright lights with gin clear water fishing for big giant stripers. So uh, when we pick back up with you, it'll be uh, fighting a fish. And if we really get into them, we can be like, all right, this cast is gonna catch a fish. Maybe we'll turn the camera on and start rolling. But uh, until then, we go and fishing. And uh, it's foggy. That's just straight up fog everywhere. So uh, that's what we doing. We in the yaks. How many miles of river we covered in the last day and a half? 21. 21 miles? Well, no. 26 total, but 21 miles of the actual river, so a lot. Yeah. A, a lot of river. Yeah, we, we've put our work in for these two videos, and uh, that fish from yesterday made it all <laughs> worth it for sure, and I think oh, we'll yeah. get some more tonight. Yeah, we definitely should. Um, I don't see any reason why we can't. Uh, night fishing on this river, everything's kind of calmed down. Water's doing what it needs to as far as generation schedule. We've got great clarity. We've got a nice bright moon, so we'll be able to see what we're doing. Fish can see the baits. Should be a productive night. Yeah. And you can tell this water is coming up like we put these kayaks, they were over there. Well, you can't see anything, but they were that way like 10 yards five minutes ago. And now the water's right here and we moved them. The, the water was over there. So the water's coming up. That's good. And we had no flow in the middle of the day as well, which sucks. <laughs> but now we have flow. And uh, I'm going to pass out when we get back to the hotel at like three o'clock tonight. So <laughs> we'll catch you when we get a fish on. Well, Chris is hooked up. It's daggum darker than crap. I don't know if you guys can see any of this, but here's a big striper on a glide bait. Woo! Oh, there's a big old tail. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Woo! -hoo. Woo, he's fighting. Y'all pushing that into that bank. Look at that. 
All right, how are you going to land them? Should I start throwing? <laughs> yeah, back off the bank. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Like About midnight out here. Woo! Woo! Hooked it. Look at the colors on them. Yeah, I know. Beautiful. See all the purples? Dude, a slight blemish, get a little aggressive on that one. Right in the seat. All right, we're gonna release this big one. What do you think, 36, 35 inches? Yeah. Something like that. that. Not quite 40. Spicy though, I mean it. This is a size fish that tends to fight a lot harder for their size. The bigger ones will kind of pull and just powerhouse these. These go nuts and just go crazy. I mean, it, as soon as I hooked up, it was immediately dragging me to that opposite bank. So I came actually more to the fish and the fish came to me. And did some thrashing on the top and pull some drag. Pull some drag, bent the rod, danced around the kayak, spun me out, the usual. What makes it fun with these guys, especially in a kayak, is as soon as you set the hook, you are no longer in any kind of control. She's ready to go. I've been arriving her for a minute. Well, that that's the bottom there, bud. Yeah. The wrong way. Come here, goofy. Go the other way. <laughs> the river's that way. That's oh. a tree. Go the other way. There you go. Go that way. Now it's going to act nice. Like, all right, that was embarrassing. They're like cats. Um, they do something stupid and they're like, oh, I'm dead. I'm embarrassed. There she goes. Cruising off. All right, my turn. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Just, just to watch you get spun out and kind of freak out the whole time in the dark on a kayak. Whee! <laughs> well, it's 2.30, 3 a.m., something like that. And uh, we're both exhausted. We've been out here for about 23 hours and uh, got one big striper and he caught it. <laughs> Thanks to my man Chris here for putting us on him for this uh, episode or the last two episodes. Um, I don't have any really other words. I'm exhausted, I wanna to go to sleep, so we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>